First, that's had a new foundation in the Lehigh community supporting firefighters. It's in honor of two new Tripoli firefighters who lost their lives battling a fire back in December of 2022. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Lurie. Fox 56's Taylor Wardenby shares the message of the loved ones behind the effort. She joins us now live with more. Taylor. After their tragic deaths, the community knew something needed to be done. The foundation aims to support local fire companies. Just more than a year ago, two new Tripoli volunteer firefighters went to work as they normally would. But tragically, that day, they didn't return home. First Assistant Chief Zachary Paris and Director Marvin Gruber lost their lives while battling a fire that tore through a home in West Penn Township. After Zachary and Marvin passed away, the community as a whole was reaching out and, and really felt there was a need to do something. They just weren't entirely sure what it should be. We got a couple community leaders together and meeting with the fire companies and talking together, we found that this foundation was ultimately the best solution to help the fire companies moving forward. Now, those they left behind are making sure they will never be forgotten. We are raising awareness uh, of what our volunteer firefighters do in the Northwestern Lehigh community, and we wanna help them with some of their biggest issues, which is recruitment, and we and we want to help them raise some funds as well. They show up on the worst day of your life. And after that happens, you recognize it and you say, wow, look at everything they do. Uh, I'd like them to see that beforehand and so that we can provide them the resources they need so they can stay excited as volunteers. They have a ton of training they need to do. They have a ton of expenses they need to cover and they're doing it as volunteers. The foundation will support volunteer firefighters who cover New Tripoli, Germansville, Linport and Weisenberg. I think as a community, um, we're going, still going through the healing process. Um, one of the things that we talked about since this incident is we never want to forget. And we did also have a, another line of duty death, uh, Frederick Mance, years ago. So it, it's very tragic, but I think it goes to show what we do here in the community is very dangerous. Smith says this May will be the foundation's first firefighter appreciation picnic. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10.